Shannon, do you agree with Leaf? I do. I see some of that, Skip. Um, and Ryan is speaking from personal exper experience, so he has firsthand knowledge. Skip, every, every player that comes into the NFL, especially high draft picks, thinks he is, is different. Oh, I'm going to be different. I'm going to do things my way. You know, I, I'm going to do it just like this, and ain't nobody going to tell me otherwise. And the NFL has a way of humbling people that thinks they can do it. I'm going to do it this way, and all of a sudden, guess what? You conform, you have success, but you conform to the way it's been done for hundreds of years. And that's what Baker's going to have to see. Skip, so what role did the referees play in those three interceptions? Did they throw the ball? Did they tell him to throw the ball over there? No. And that's what you wanted the quarterback. Skip, there have been times that the refs made bad calls and we lost the game. And I remember my quarterback, John Elway, said, look, yeah, there were some bad calls, but that's not what we're going to talk about. That's not why we lost the game. What we're going to do, I'm going to say this, and we're going to get better. We're going to learn from it. That's what I want my quarterback as the leader. Yeah. That's what I want him to say. I don't want no excuses. That's the skip. I never want the leader to make an excuse. I want him to accept, even if it's not his fault, I want him to take blame for it. And that's what we're seeing Baker not do. And what's happening is, is that everybody thought this thing was going to be smooth. Skip, they, you know, they're supposed to be four and two, not two and four, yeah, five and one. Mm -hmm. That's what they were thinking. Baker, ooh, you see the way he played last year? They got Odell now. And Chubb running the ball, Freddie Cake dialing it up now. Yep. Not only is his offensive coordinator, his, uh, uh, his, off his OC kept his OC, that's his head coach. Say his best boy is his head coach and coordinator. Yep. They're going to be so much better now, and it's not going out according to plan. Mm. And now everybody's looking like, well, hold on, wait a minute. Maybe we had uh, jumped the gun on just how good Baker going to be. Mm. So this is tricky for me because I really like Ryan Leaf. Mm -hmm. I think he has a good heart. He's a smart guy, and he has been to hell and back. Mm -hmm. and Twice. Maybe twi I was going to say, then he <laughs> went to hell and back again. And yet, the difference here is Ryan Leaf's brashness and arrogance and his runaway emotions were his undoing. They wrecked him. Baker's brashness and his arrogance and his runaway emotions fuel him. They've always fueled him. He's always been that overachiever type with the big chip on mm -hmm. his shoulder. So Ryan was a big stud, strapping athlete, you know, took over the Pac-12. Yes. Was it still the Pac-12? Or was yeah. it Ari the Pac-10? Pac-10, maybe. Yeah, so, yeah it was Pac-10 way back in yeah. the yeah, 90s. So he, he just dominated it. And, and he was like a linebacker playing quarterback mm -hmm. in those days. And it was 1-2-2-1 one, two, two, one between him and Peyton. About a lot, and a lot of people had a lot of people. I Peyton. talked to a whole lot of people. Like the, I was close to all the USC coaches mm -hmm. at that point, all them close friends of mine. And, boy, they just were in awe of Ryan Leaf. So he gets up to your game, and, and he found that, that they quickly taught him lessons that he just couldn't get over. Right. Because look at these numbers. He went 4-17 and 17 as a starter. Wow. In his career, he threw 14 touchdowns to 36 interceptions. Yeah. It's horrendous. Well, Baker's had flashes of brilliance, right? right? Mm -hmm. I mean, Baker's already won twice as many games as Ryan Leaf won in his whole three-year career, Let's right? Here's something. Okay. You say Baker, that, that fusing. Yeah. But we haven't seen Baker not be successful. See, at Oklahoma, what was he? They were winning. In high school, they were winning. How does he handle even, it? Even, even last year, they, they sort of shocked him. Yeah. Started, now we're shifted. starting to see some adversity. Okay. Okay. How does he handle that? A lot of adversity. Yes. Well, I don't know, because he's getting humbled, and he doesn't do humility very well. Right. Much. So that, yeah. now we're going to find. Skip, everybody, when you have success, you know, everybody scream and they pat the chest. I'm the man. I'm the man. But when you're not winning, mm -hmm. what are you? Who are you? It reveals your character. That's what losing does. Yeah. Where I fear for Baker is all the commercials. He's like on every other commercial <laughs> on television. <laughs> Reportedly, he and his wife filmed 20 different commercials for progressive insurance, and they're everywhere. It's his house. The stadium is his house. 20? Yeah. At home with Baker Mayfield in his... Yeah, we gotta make that I hadn't seen the... Yeah, we gotta make that brain. Yeah. That's that incredible. All different. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Okay. a lot of time. They say you and Matt got about 10 on the can right <laughs> now. Yeah. I wish. And he's I'm doing available. all the Hulu has live sports <laughs> right. commercials. I've seen all those. And he's everywhere. And man, you gotta start backing it up. Yeah. So now you wow. gotta live up to huge expectations. And Ryan had to live up to personal expectations, but nobody really expected the Chargers to right. do that much at that point. Right. 
right? I was he I was at Denver when he got drafted in '98. Yeah. He wasn't that good. No, he wasn't that good. No. So he flamed out pretty quickly, and I do think Baker's going to have a long, successful career. But he's going to have to learn how to do it the NFL way. Yeah, but and you skip. Tom Brady skewed a lot of things. So yep. Tom Brady has won so much, he's probably only lost. I don't know if Tom Brady has lost fifty games in his career. So, but mo- that most of, more more times than not, skip mm-hmm. you lose, and he's going to have to learn how to live with losing. Yeah, because that shows more about a person, about a leader, than winning. Skip, everybody can leave when you're winning. Yeah, that's easy. Mm. When you lose, how do you rally the guys? When they look at you like, okay, that guy's going to lead us up out of this. Baker Mayfield's a sorry loser. He just did. <laughs> no, he I don't know if that's a terrible thing or not. No. Because I, I don't like good losers, you know? No. But, yeah. but, again, as the leader of that team, you need to do what John Elway would do. Just step up and say, we played poorly. And we got to get better. Yep. Mm-hmm. And it's nobody's fault but our own. Right. Take responsibility right? for that. Yep. yep. I had uh, Ryan Leaf's comments to Baker's list of people he would like to prove wrong. And keep in mind, they are in their bye, but he did not practice today, Baker. So mm. they got a little time to figure things out before they head to face the Patriots, <laughs> which is not an easy one. Ooh. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.